Yeah, the three-back system, and watch the wing-backs, Rosales and DJ Taylor and their ability to get forward, but also track back defensively. And, of course, that one change is going to be Caden Pierre is going to slide in for the yellow card accumulation suspension for Jake Davis. Pierre's first start since September City. of last weekend. As Ten Uncle gets us underway from Allianz, we invite you to turn off the world and turn on the game. We're playing for a big three points in the Western Conference. It's Minnesota United and Sporting Kansas City. Again, Tyler Terrence along with Kindred East St. Albans. So glad you could join us here on this Saturday night. And right off the bat, Taniola Wache trying to bring it down. Falls timely for Fragapane. Now here's Joseph Rosales on the first time. And Danny Rosero needs to be sharp in the opening seconds of this one. And he concedes the first corner of the evening. And that'll bring out the Scarves here at Allianz. Will be an outswinger. And a good ball. That Robin Lud is there. And it's snapped in! Michael Boxall! Loons draw first blood! Kick. One minute into the match, you said an outswinger, but look at Robin Lund just finding himself on the edge of the six. A beautiful flick to the back post. You got two players there ready to put this one in. Sporting Kansas City just falling asleep. You got Michael Boxall making the run, losing his mark. Plenty of blue jerseys in the area. Puki and Boxall getting this one down. It's the outstretched foot of Michael Boxall. Well earned, well deserved. Many games that Sporting Kansas City threw away late on was this is curled in beautifully for Willie Agata. Excellent first touch, and he blazes it over the crossbar. That was a world-class ball from Tim Leibold, and Willie Agata stays with DJ Taylor, though. Around Radaya. Decent looking ball in. Rosales had a stab at it. Fragapane, the spectacular. And it's easy enough for Timbilius. Cutting inside, finding Fragapane. And now Will Trap. Angling one towards DJ Taylor, who takes it on the first time. And an excellent look for Will Trap and DJ Taylor just on the wrong side of the post. Put the game out of reach for the opposition, and you would think three or four goals would do it. So far, it hasn't. We did that Portland Timbers game. And this was an awkward land here for Kervin Ariaga. And he immediately went down as soon as he hit the turf. And it's going to be a yellow card. Intricate build up here for Minnesota United. And out wide for Joseph Rosales. Will Trap. Robin Lud. Pookie left all alone. Miscommunication. And it's all the last on the doorstep. It's the youngster again. But you have to say. That goal is designed in a beautiful manner. And instead, they recycle. Look at the positioning of Olawashe. There's going to be some questions there about an offside position as that ball is played across. It's a tough angle to tell. You see the Sporting Kansas City players raising their arm immediately. The buildup was beautiful, the intricate play, the combination, the through ball. Then it looked like there was a confusion there. Is Rosales going to take it or Puki going to take it? He's got to be absolutely chomping at the bit to get on the pitch and help his team. And they miss him. They miss him on that right-hand side. Just his electric nature, his quality, his spiciness, his competitiveness. And Puki's so smart at finding the little pockets of space to be available as that ball's pinged around. Flag should come up here on Willie Agata. Stopped initially, now has a go, and it finds the back of the net, but it will be waved off. He hit the frame that time, didn't he? He made no bones about that one. And you saw him break. What can we do to close this game out? Lock it down defensively. You don't need any more goals if you're up three. You shouldn't. You should be able to lock that down at home. Good ball over the top for Shallowy. Excellent move here. It's Alan Polito, and it's 2-1. It's just what they needed. And Sporting Kansas City right back into the game. It's their Mexican talisman, Alan Polito. And the game is very much back on. But they found a moment here, and it's a ball over the top. Shallow we make in the run. And it's a quick one-touch pass with the outside of the right foot and the trailing run from Alan Polito. Clean first touch. A lot of traffic right in front. Takes a deflection on the way through. Willie Agata setting almost a little bit of a screen there with all the bodies. But somebody turns it over. They don't play him where he wants it. 
He doesn't waste time in thinking, why didn't you play it here? He just makes the next right movement. Nobody stepping to the Hong Wan A and Tim Bealy needed to get down to make the save. And everybody just backed off of the South African. It was accounting for the runs. It didn't account for the man with the ball. Didn't get quite enough on that one, did he? And the foul committed on the other end. Michael Poxler just coming in hot. And even then some is he caught Tim Leibold and Andre Fantas wants some retribution in the form of a yellow card for Boxall. Standing in front, so many bodies right around the penalty spot. Lots of shoving going on. The oh. ball whipped in and it's straight against St. Clair as Rosero peeled off from the pack. And got a glancing header to it, but straight into the Canadian international's hands. Polito, excellent ball. ball for Shallowy. DJ Taylor tracking, it's Shallowy and he yanks it wide. And from a goal scoring standpoint, that sums up the first 10 weeks of Daniel Shallowy's 2024. No playing time with the Los Angeles Galaxy in 2022 and 2023. Went down to the championship, did extremely well, got a boatload of playing time, and now here with Minnesota United and trying to help them close out a 2-1 win and perhaps get the ever decisive third goal, and that's what Caden Clark had on his mind. It's Amelia Sharp to it. It's set piece after set piece for the visitors. St. Clair bats it away, falls kindly for Voltaire. His first touch. Nodded away by Braun. Back in from Funtas. And the foul called against Sporting Kansas City, and that might just do it. Full time. Second one on the bounce for Minnesota United. They defeat Sporting Kansas City by a score of 2-1. to one.